Fine tune each time. Our first KWU open fight of the evening, which is the KWU MMA rules. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with either of these guys, but Rusi Minev here, fighting out of the blue corner, is an absolute wrestling machine. I'm not sure these rules are going to favour him too much, though, because we have a limit of 30 seconds work on the ground, and the rounds are only three minutes long. Bruno Carvalho from Portugal, he's a kickboxing champion. So is he going to keep the fight standing and strike? Let's see. Yes, yeah, the classical striking versus grappling. Well, we can be deceived with that sometimes. Somebody comes in with a kickboxing background and shoots for the takedown straight away. So, yes. yeah, but as you say, that's what it appears to be. And actually, Carvalho there throwing some great strikes and Rusi getting caught. And I'm very surprised that Rusi is, is making the decision to stand and trade. But Rusi's corner are, are saying that it's good work, good work, but it's very dangerous. The Portuguese fighter is a powerhouse, you can see. And with the credibility as European kickboxing champion, it's dangerous for Rusi Minev to stand in front of him and trade. But there could be some game plan here. If Rusi's done his homework, he's going to tire Carvalho out before taking him down. But we, we shouldn't underestimate uh, Rusi Minev stand up. He's an MMA world champion, and nowadays you can't be a one-trick pony in mixed martial arts. You've got to be able to f f strike, wrestle, and grapple all equally. And here we see the takedown. Lovely knee there to the head from Rusi. Nice knee to the body again. Is he going to try for this right underhook and then get a body lock? No. I'm surprised he didn't drop there and take a leg. There we go. He's got a single. He's going to turn to his right. Striking again. So just getting a taste of the wrestling strength of Bruno Carvalho. And I think his takedown defense was pretty good there against uh, someone of uh, Rusi's credibility wrestling wise. This is a fast paced fight. We've got 20 seconds left of this first round. For strikers, never a good idea to step back against a, against a wrestler. Yep. Well, I'm amazed that Rusi has decided to stand and trade like this, but he hasn't been unsuccessful. There, he finishes the round with a lovely right hand. And now, well, 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 Everton, I normally call the fights after each round of uh, on my scorecard. How did you see that first round? For me, I, I saw the Bulgaria fighter advantage, but uh, the Portuguese fighter did really well. He could defense the takedown, the takedown yep. attempt. Yep. And he, I think he should uh, step forward more. Yeah, yeah. I think he's he's clearly the better striker, and I think if he pushed pushed the striking. But, but then he's going to leave himself open to, for the takedown. Yes. You've yes. got to play the game. So, man, that's a difficult round to score. But I think actual shots landed on the target and the takedown attempt would have shown Rusi to be favoured in the judges' eyes. I'm going to give that a 10-9 to, to Rusi Minev. But I could be wrong. And out they come here again with a fast-paced second round. Rusi there throwing big haymakers. If he lands one of those on the button, anything could happen. He got a trip there. Carvalho's going to get back up.
Well, look at the focus on, on Minev's face here. Lovely combinations, punches, and then he finishes with a knee to the body, another knee to the body, and a right hand. He gets the double, takes the Portuguese fighter down, lands a left hook. Is he in trouble? Well, I don't think um, Carvalho there was hurt, but the takedown just threw him out of sorts for a second. He had to gather his thoughts to get back on track. He's trying for a tie clinch there. And Minev is getting stronger and stronger as this fight goes on. Yes, exactly. And what, what a pace. I mean, these guys just under welterweight. 75 kilos, but they're going to weigh a lot more than that today. There was a, some weird, <laughs> some weird uh, windmill punches there from Rusi Minev. A right hand, he's got the Portuguese fighter in the corner. He's going for the takedown again. A lovely jumping knee. Well, Rusi Minev there, he's, um, he's really showing how, what a well-rounded fighter he is here. And not only determined to win, but he's determined to make a show here on the Senshi platform. Good refereeing there from Andrews. Just keeping the Portuguese fighter off the ropes. And Carvalho has got a little cut below his left eye. And that's going to cause some swelling. And his, that kick was a little bit sloppy. Carvalho looks like he's getting a little tired already. Yep, I completely agree. And Rusi Minev here is just not slowing down. And Rusi's corner are saying low kick, low kick. End of the second round. Now I gave the first round a 10-9 closely to Rusi Minev. But I don't think there's any argument for that second round that it's 10-9 uh, to the blue corner. Yes, I agree. So. In a very good and intense round. Yeah, the pace there didn't slow down. Now, one thing, Rusi Minev, he's, he's a, an MMA champion, and he's going to be used to fighting five-minute rounds um, in other organizations. So he must have come here thinking, three minutes, no problem. Um, the Portuguese fighter, he has fought MMA in the past. Second yes, round. he's an MMA fighter, but he's not an MMA champion. And he's a kickboxing champion used to fighting three-minute rounds. So I'm just wondering if mentally uh, Rusi has got a, a cardio advantage. Mentally. Yes, maybe, maybe. That was a nice kick there. Liver shot there from Carvalho. He looks a bit more composed at the beginning of this third and final round, but he's just had that minute rest. And Rusi Minev here, he's come out, he's absolute machine. He's gone for the single leg. He's not really pushing the takedowns too much. But I, I really think that's where his advantage is going to lie. I think Carvalho has more precision on, on his strikes, but Minev is too intense. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. A nice sprawl there from uh, Carvalho. And actually, Carvalho is coming back here with better punches. As you say, more crisp, more accurate. But Rusi Minev is relentless. Nice left hook there. And Carvalho now having more luck with those strikes. Well, are the tables turning? Now he's getting confident as well. 
He's landing a few shots, which is giving him confidence. And Rusi Minev is now on the back foot. I think he felt his, he was on uh, not in advantage in last round, so he had to recover. Yep. Nice strike in there to the head and body from Carvalho. He's really coming back now. And is Rusi Minev getting tired? He hasn't got the power that he had earlier on. And Carvalho is coming back very, very strong. We've got under a minute to go. Some good strikes landing. There, a nice shoot there from Minev. He's resorted to that because the, stri the striking from Carvalho is coming on strong. He's going to give his back if he's not careful. As Minev got the energy to get some hooks in and take his neck. He's going towards the ropes. Well, he's, he's up. He's... Minev, Minev, well, Carvalho there is using the ropes to prevent the takedown. And if Rusi Minev has got a body lock, which he hasn't now, he's lost the advantage. He really wants to put a show on here. Wow! The pace of that fight, Everton, was just crazy. Yes. Non-stop from the first, second, and third round, from start to finish. Wow. And, you know, we were saying, just I was talking to Ernesto just now, and he said in a three-round fight, you shouldn't leave anything in the gas tank. If you lose and you've left 10% in the gas tank, you're going to think about that forever. Um, that third and final round, I think I'm going to give it to the red corner. So, two rounds to one on my scorecard, but the first round was very close. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, now, well, I'm not the judge, but I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it two rounds to one on my scorecard to Rusi Minev. I completely agree. Um, but I think he could have done more. He, not, no, uh, sorry, I, I don't mean that. He couldn't have done more. He could have fought a cleverer fight. Don't yes. you think? He's a wrestling champion, an MMA champion. He's a great grappler. So he's got submissions everywhere, leg locks and uh, arm locks, chokes. Um, I'm not sure how well versed Bruno Carvalho is at defending uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on the ground. He did a great job of defending the takedowns against a wrestling champion. In favor so of the red corner. Judge Sue, 29 to 28 in favor of the blue corner. So we have a split decision. Our last judge, number three, is 29 to 28 in favor of the blue corner. Wow. There we go. Two rounds to one, two judges to one. For the Bulgarian, the crowd are very, very happy about that. And a deserved victory for the Bulgarian, but what a fight. Um, and Bruno Carvalho does not need to go home with his head held low because he put up a fight there and came back very strong in the third and final round. They gave the crowd exactly what they wanted to see. Yes, it was a well-deserved victory. But the uh, Portuguese fighter did a really good job. Exactly, I agree.